Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Outlook with Microsoft Teams. First things first, we want to create ourselves an account at uh, Microsoft uh, Outlook, but I pro uh, probably you'll have one all already, so we just have to sign in to the account that we want to integrate. Once we do that, we will discover that we won't be able to make this integration uh, through Outlook alone, so we are going to use a third-party application. We are going to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we're here, let's go to the top corner and click on integrations. Once this uh, window show up, we want to go to the bottom left side and see all categories. Now we, ha uh, we have to search from 200 and more, but we are interested in Outlook at the moment. So once we pick Outlook, uh, let's go to the opposite side and go with Microsoft Teams. Once we do that, uh, we have some popular integrations here, but if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, uh, just keep scrolling down and we can create our own integration. Just remember, under on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with uh, Microsoft Outlook. On the right side, underneath the actions, we want to go with Microsoft Teams. So I'm sticking with the first uh, options, but it's completely up to you. You pick the one that you need. The last thing we have to do, we have to click on Try It Now button. Then we get redirected and we'll get asked to log in to the, uh, the automate.eo account. And we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this uh, integration. Uh, another application that we can use is Zapier.com. At Zapier.com, uh, we also need to create ourselves an account and we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. So after we click on make a zap, uh, we want to, we can name the zap like Outlook to Teams. Uh, at application event, well, at back at, uh, back at uh, this integration, it works basically the same way like it works at automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description at automate underneath this video. As I said before, so yeah, we want to start uh, the trigger with entering Outlook, like this. Now we have to create event, so what? We'll stick with the first one, continue. Now we have to log in to the Microsoft uh, Outlook account, continue, and now we can test the trigger. On the second action, as you probably guessed, we want to start with Microsoft Teams. Choose event, let's stick to the first one, continue. And the last thing we have to do we, is we have to sign in to the Microsoft Teams account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.